Hi, welcome to another tutorial. This one's about this little device here. It's the Maxim um, Programmable Resolution One Wire Digital Thermometer. Uh, this particular one is the DS18B20. Um, got it wired up to this uh, four line LCD display just to demonstrate uh, some of the code that we need. Uh, I'll be uh, showing you how to program it to give us a positive and negative temperature. Uh, a lot of the samples you get on various sites, including the one with uh, Microcode Studio and Pick Basic Pro, is for positive only, a positive temperature. Uh, the maths and everything doesn't work when the uh, sensor goes negative. Uh, it just stops. Um, this here is the 16 bits of data coming out of the sensor. So if it was actually reading zero, we'd have all zero, a string of 16 zeros across here. Uh, I've highlighted uh, the 15th bit here, which I'll demonstrate later, I'll demonstrate why I'm, why I'm highlighting that. This is just a, a configuration code, just to let me know it's all working. Uh, so yeah, that's the sensor. There's a surface mount device, six pin, but only three are used. A little board to convert it. Uh, by the moment, I've just clicked wired up to some enameled copper wire freezing in the water there. Um, so first and foremost, I guess, you need the data sheet for the temperature sensor. Let's get you focused in on there. Maybe I'll move the camera so you can get a square view. Excuse me while I do this. Right, so you see it's a DS18B20. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a pin configuration, that's a surface mount device, which you've just seen. If I go down a pin through, uh, sorry, page three, uh, I've highlighted there. When you turn the sensor on, for, by default, uh, it defaults to a 12 bit resolution. Now I've got my bit of paper done here already. Uh, excuse the uh, messy writing, but I think it says on here actually, but let me see, yeah, 12 bit resolution um, corresponds to, so half a degree is, uh, I believe, 9 bits, 0.25 of a degree, which is, oh yeah, half a degree is 9 bits, 0.25 of a degree is 10 bits. 0.125 degree is 11 bits and 12 bit is 0 0.0625 of a degree accuracy. So they give you um, yeah, 12 bit resolution by default. <coughs> the funny thing about this is, or the irony, is they say between 10 and 85 degrees it's only half uh, accurate to within plus or minus half a degree. But I guess if you've got it that accurate, you can see a trend to see which way it's going up or down before it hits a half a whole number or whatever. Uh, right, that's the Maxim data sheet. Download that, look it up. I uh, have to say about the maths on this one, I couldn't work it out all by myself, so I found this, uh, this guy, Reynolds Electronics, a guy called Klaus in Germany. Uh, I've just subscribed to his mailing list. Uh, he did the maths for the uh, negative temperature. Uh, you'll see using the Pick Basic Pro version 2.1, one wire commands. So I've got to thank him for the maths. Uh, that was only for the negative bit, I did the rest. So the circuit drawing, before I forget, right, if you, hopefully you can get all this in. Let me see if I can square the camera up. This is how I wired it up. Just uh, you can obviously pause the uh, pause the YouTube video and copy all this down. I suggest, yeah, any 16 pin L LCD. This is a parallel mode. So you see the four data bits. Uh, enable bit, uh, register select, the read write. You may as well just wire it to ground if you're going to start reading from the LCD wire it to pin 10 or RE2, which I haven't got on the chip there. So the RD7, RD6, just copy all this down. Uh, I've got the Maxime temperature sensor 
one wire to RC0 pin 15 goes to the middle pin ground 5 volts uh, now I'm using the 6 uh, 16F887 um, basically because it's half the price of the old 887s it's got larger RAM it's, it's, it does lots of uh, bit of things uh, yeah, so it's got a lot more RAM it's very uh, fast to program and lots more as you see there that's the details for in circuit serial programming uh, that's the crystal with the two tuning capacitors. If you don't want to use a crystal, use a ceramic resonator. Pin 13, 14, centre pin to ground. That's about it, I think. Master clear, tight high. So 11 and 30, uh, yeah, 1132 power, 12 and 31 ground. That should be on there long enough. Got to get to the programming, or we're not going to see it. So thank you, Reynolds Electronics, for the maths for the negative temperatures. Right, so I'm using, as with all the other projects, Microcode Studios Pick Basic Pro. Um, so I think if you open the projects, um, Microcode Studios actually give you some samples. So I've got it opened here already. So there's a timer, button commands, LCD, uh, analog to digital converters, look up, look down, Max min and look see this is the commands we're using today one wire so if we open that one wire there is a basic code to give you a or programming code to give you a temperature gauge that will read positive temperatures uh, it's rather complex and I think somewhere it says not valid for negative temperatures so if you're in the UK and you want to measure outside temperatures, this program is no good at all. Uh, and you can't just, you know, stick it outside and hope it's going to work. It's, the maths is totally different. So one wire command, one wire, so O, W, that's where the O, W comes from. So let me shut this down. Here's my code. Let me just get, uh, we're using, if I scroll down to, don't want configuration, read ID, we'll go back, I'll go back in a minute and you can copy it all down. So OW one wire, so look, one wire OW. OW out. So this pick 16F887 is so sending out uh, on DQ, which is the data pin of the sensor, it's sending out one and then these hexadecimal codes CC and 44, so I've got already, look, CC means skip ROM, uh, then 44 is convert the temperature, that sort of stuff. Read up on the data sheet and you'll, you'll understand more. I've only got 10 minutes, uh, so I can't uh, run through it all as much as I'd like. <coughs> Copy this down, so temperature is a variable word because we've got 16 bits of data, not 8 bits, so it's a word. Temp temperature high is a variable byte, temperature low, you can set te high and low temperature alarms. Configuration I've got as variable byte, just so I can read the configuration and display it on the LCD as you saw earlier. Temp C, variable word, that's a 16 bits of information. And a dummy, this dummy is for the maths. Uh, B is a variable byte, I think I had that for something else I was making about, messing about with it earlier. ID is to get the ID of the uh, chip. Uh, the temperature says it's 64 bit code. So look, ID is a variable byte, yeah, times eight. Uh, DQ is the actual, what Maxim called the data pin uh, on the device. So DQ is a variable port C dot naught. So we've got it connected to port C dot naught. So anytime we, we refer to DQ, the program's looking at port C.0 or controlling port C.0. Bit 15 of the 16-bit code, I'm running out of time, bit 15 of the 16-bit code is what's going to tell us if it's a positive or negative going temperature. Uh, that's very important. Maybe I'll finish this one now, finish this video and start it, start another one in a minute. Uh, copy this, this configuration for the LCD. I'll let you copy that and stop this video. Part two in a minute.
Right, uh, part two. So I've scrolled back up to the beginning so you can just copy it basically. I'll try and run through some of the bits which are important just to give you an understanding of the uh, temperature device. So, as I said, they're variable bytes. Yeah, they're, they're just variables, variable words or variable bytes. So remember from my earlier videos, a byte is 8 bits and a word is 16 bits. Uh, forget the B, don't need that anymore, I don't think. The idea is to extract the identification from the device, which I'll talk through to you later maybe. Uh, bit 15, as I've said in previous video, tells us if it's going, if the temperature is going positive or negative. We need to know because it's different maths for a positive temperature or negative temperature. Uh, if it's going positive, bit 15 will be a zero. If it's going negative, bit 15 will be a one. Uh, but see, so bit 15 is, yeah, I've called it, yeah, bit 15 is a variable, but it's actually referring to the temperature, bit 15. Um, so scroll down. So that's the configuration for the liquid crystal display. All my videos, uh, the configuration for the LCD is the same, whether it's a clock or the counters on the stepper motors, blah, blah, blah. Support D is the data bits, four bits of data. Uh, e is the enable port. Uh, actually, no, it's, yeah, port E, sorry, RS register select is port E. Uh, port naught of E. Uh, port E is also the enable, pin one. Uh, read write, I've got connected, but you can just connect it to ground. Because I've got this LCD display of four line, I've got four lines here, and I'm running four data bits, not eight. Um, right, what's important here, if you're using the PIC16F887, 8, 8 you want the, this code here, Ansel, Ansel H, so it's all digital on 887. If you're not using the 887, put the put an apostrophe here. It just sort of like removes the command and just makes them into some random text. So, you see this line here I'm using? Oh, yeah, one of those. Uh, and then undelete this one. So if you're using the 887, you want add con one. Actually, yeah, equals. I'll make this easier. Add con one equals seven. Uh, because I've got my read write connected to the uh, PIC microcontroller, I've got low port E.2, which is where it's connected. Pause for 600 milliseconds. Uh, I've got to go to config. Well, so I'll put this back to how it was. I've got in circuit serial programming, so I can just press F9 to program. And so, so I don't want to mess these up. Right, go to config. Just, I haven't got time to run through it all. I've only got 10 minutes and I didn't start my timer. Hang on. Seven minutes. Seven minutes will do. Well, I copy this down. This is configuration to extract the serial number out of the device should you want to... Actually, no it's not. This is to convert it from 12-bit uh, down to 9-bit. So you can see there, skip ROM and then convert, skip ROM and then read scratch pad, pause for 200 milliseconds. Uh, as you see this OW out, so there's one wire out, so this, the, this is a, a command coming out of the PIC microcontroller. Uh, so $CT $4E so the 4E, I've got a little memo there, uh, writes to the scratch pad. Pause for 200 uh, milliseconds. Um, DQ1, so that's referring to that sensor wire, obviously. These are the signals, or sorry, commands, codes, to change from 12 bit, 11, 10, and 9. You can see I've got the 7F here, so it's, I've got it set to 12 bit. If I change this, $7F, I've done all the homework for you, to $1F, and then press F9, because it's... 
Hi, well, this is part two. Well, finishing off where the uh, other video left off. Go over this uh, config again. Now I've got some more time. Actually, just set the timer. Ten minutes. Um, I haven't got the data sheet up and running, but we want to communicate with the third bit of data in the Maxim memory. Um, so we have to pack these first two bits out. Now these first two bits is actually the temperature, uh, the high temperature and the low temperature. So I've actually set these to zero. Uh, you could put you know, any dummy words in here or you could literally put dummy, dummy, as long as you had dummy as a variable byte. But um, So we're skipping the read-only memory. We're not assigning an address to the temperature sensor. We're going to write to the scratch pad. This is the temperature high alarm, temperature low alarm data and then this is, oh, as you see, set to 7F where there's the binary equivalent which is 12-bit. Now I'll change this uh, code from an earlier version. If we set it to the 9-bit it will work fine, it will give us a 9-bit a resolution with positive going temperatures because of the math on the positive going temperature configuration. If we set it, leave it at 9 bits, so we only want to look at the resolution by half a degree um, on the negative temperature configuration, we will still get the conversion to three decimal places because of the maths. We won't get like a even sort of half degrees. So you know, it's, it's up to you. You can either mess about with maths on the negative or just leave it 7F, or if you're only reading positive temperatures, change it to 9-bit. So before I start running out of time, I'm going to scroll down, let you copy all this. So these are, say, just packing what we're sending out of, um, I think, the DQ, the, the alias port C.0, I believe it was. Um, yeah, sending out this information from the yeah, OW uh, one wire out, sending out this information, writing it to the scratch pad, pausing. Then this is a CCM48 is copy uh, to the internal EEPROM. Don't know, not sure if that bit works. Then we're clearing the display, returning to the beginning of the first line, uh, and reading the temperature low byte. So that's uh, the first eight bits of information, then the temperature high byte, that's the second bit, uh, sec second of uh, eight bytes. Uh, and there's, there's the temperature bits again, temperature high, temperature low uh, alarms, and then just for my reference, that's the configuration, which would actually be one, two, three, four, the fifth bit of data. So that's the fifth bit of data into the chip, but if we were writing to the Dallas or the Maxim temperature sensor, we can't write to these first two addresses. So we just yeah, blank it with uh, temp H, temp L, or you know, whatever you want to call these, and then config. And you'll see down there, as the chip boots up, we just, uh, to five decimal places, we get the configuration. Then we're going to read ID. Right. So if I let you copy this, this is for reading the um, hexadecimal code that's laser written, 64-bit laser written to the Maxim temperature sensor. So we're cl yeah, clearing the display, return um, to the beginning of the first line, LCDL, so anything we put in these inverted commas, uh, quotation marks, so I'm looking at serial number, dollar fee, $C0, so that's um, starting at the beginning of the second line. Uh, you can just hash or whatever. And then, so to two, two hexadecimal places, ID1, hexadecimal, two hexadecimal places, ID2, three, four, five, and six. Uh, H just stands for hexadecimal. That's, that will give you the specific serial number of the device you're talking to. Um, if you have that serial number beforehand, you then go back up the top 
and rather than skipping the ROM, you can specify a particular temperature sensor. So that's what that's for. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Well, this is the main loop. So one more out. Uh, port C dot naught, so DQ on the sensor. Uh, skip ROM, convert the temperature. Now, I think I said this in the other videos, but they got cut off. If you're converting the temperature to uh, a 12 bit um, con or 12 bit answer, 12 bit code, it takes nearly 0 0.7 of a second, 700 milliseconds. That's why we've got that long pause there. If you convert it down to 9-bit, you can reduce this time here, but so that's going to update every 0.7 and a bit of a second. Um, out again, so we're just reading, uh, skipping the run, read scratch bad, temperature low byte, temperature high byte. Um, right, this is the important bit, not sure if it come up already, if bit 15 equals 1, then go to minus. If bit 15 equals uh, zero, then go to positive. So that's looking at that, this 16-bit temperature, looking at the 15th bit, because we've, to remember we call this, uh, it's a variable, uh, looking at the temperature bit 15. So it's looking at the 15th bit, if it's one, it means it's a negative going temperature, minus and positive. So if it's minus, and thanks to Reynolds Electronics, there's dummy 65 times, this is uh, the middle um, 16 bits, times temperature plus one, temperature C divided by 32 times 10. Um, clear the display. Right, this is the important bit as well. Make sure you've got all that on the camera. So we've got four, four or five numbers in the in the answer, or in the temperature conversion. So look, LCD out. So negative because we've got a negative temperature. And to one decimal place, we want the temperature digit four. Then one decimal place, temperature digit three. Then we've got the decimal point. So this is less than one degree. Just for argument's sake. Or uh, or make you know, keep it simple. I've got to decimal three places the last three uh, digits. Uh, then I've got a gap. Then degree C. You know I've just put in inverted commas. Uh, and then decimal floor four places. I've got my configuration just so I can see what's going on. You don't need any of that. You could stop at the C. Um, scroll down a bit more. Hopefully we'll get all this on this video. So this is um, just for demonstration purposes. I had the temperature displayed uh, in binary form, 16 places. Uh, and then I had these little squiggles to highlight the 15th um, bit. Right, so that's it, that's minus. Uh, once it's finished the conversion, goes back to the main loop, looks at the temperature again. If it's positive, comes here. This the maths is a lot easier, and this maths works whether it's um, nine, ten, eleven, or twelve bit. Um, yeah, nine, ten, eleven, twelve bit positive. Really, the math there is best with the twelve bit. So there's no good cutting it back to nine. But you saw in the configuration. If you want to change it back to uh, nine bit, that's how you do it. At the end of uh, the conversion. Just says go to main loop, and I believe at the bottom it says end. So hopefully I haven't gone through through that too quickly, and you can just copy it at your leisure. I think I um, covered everything at the beginning. Um, I've had the thing in the freezer. I'm not sure how much time I've got left. So that's the temperature in the free my freezer at the moment. 
Hi, right, continuation. Right, just before I look at more of the display, I said about this uh, configuration, which you'll see in a minute. I've set it to, <coughs> excuse me, uh, 7F 12 bit. Not sure which video got deleted and which one ran out of time. Use the calculator. You've got Vista, Windows 7. Standard scientific programmer. Go to programmer. So look. So have I there? That's my normal mistake. Can't fit it in the picture, or don't get it in a picture. Right. If we go to hexadecimal here. So dollar means hexadecimal. So dollar. So make sure it's clear. Seven. F decimal that means 127 binary that one two three four five six seven ones it doesn't but we're looking at eight bit code so we, it doesn't show the uh, zero um, so that's seven F if we type in a binary code for example so like a uh, nine bit is so zero zero zero, which isn't going to come up because it's all zeros. Then we got five ones. So one, two, three, four, five. But you type in in the code uh, three zeros in front of this. So that's binary, decimal. That's thirty one. Hexadecimal. That's one F. So calculator, just recap in case you haven't seen it in the other videos. Right. So this is right seven F set to 12-bit. Right, back to the display. Let me lock this camera off. So it's reading my freezer temperature. 12-bit resolution, which is, was it 0.0625 or something like that? Very accurate, even though uh, maximum report the temperature sensors from minus 10 to plus 85 only accurate to plus or minus half a degree so we don't need this to three decimal places so what's the temperature anyway see it's creeping up like 1.25 or maybe even 0 0.0625 creeping up in small bits I say creeping up the numbers are going up it's actually coming down in temperature because I put it on fast freeze this is the uh, 15th bit here we're looking at uh, one tells us it's negative, if that changes to a zero, it's going positive. Other people say look at the 11th bit. If you're working with a 12-bit code, um, I believe it says the first three bits are ignored in the temperature conversion. Um, but I want to show you that later as well. Well, let me take this out of the freezer while it's creeping up slowly. What I'll do, change it with this in circuit serial programming. So just take my word for it, I'm changing it to 1F from 7F. I'll press F9 and then you'll see the chip boot up uh, with all that uh, read ID and config, etc. Right, so I'm pressing F9. Wait for the noise. Oh, it's finished. Right, this is a chip rebooting, that's a serial number of my device. And we're back to where we were. So now, although we've got this three decimal places, it's actually meant to be giving us the resolution in nine in a nine bit code. So you see funny things happening with these numbers. Maybe these will be stagnant or whatever. Or just these first two chains, something like that. Let me take it out of the freezer and put it in this glass of cold water I've got. Keep watching the 15th bit. Right, so I'm taking it out. Right, here's my sensor. Right, see so it's gone from negative, where there's one there, it's now going positive. But right, here's the sensor on my enameled copper wire. Put it in this glass of water here with some ice in it so if we had a 0.0625 